So I'm testing Miracast, Microsoft Miracast on Windows 10. Microsoft Miracast or MS Miracast is the enhanced integrated Miracast uh, screencasting support uh, on Windows 10. Apparently they've done a lot of work on it and it now includes also the user interface back channel. So in this setup here, and I've got it connected now, you can see the response rate on that uh, mouse pointer is certainly very, very good indeed. Um, the back channel allows a touch screen to be placed here and then the, the, the input will go back to the uh, the main device. Now, I'm just going to uh, break this connection and just show you how easy it is to... to and that's a bug that shouldn't actually disconnect by going to that part of the uh, OS. But this is build uh, 1070... Sorry, 10074. It's the latest one from, from build. Uh, so rather than projecting, all you need to go is to Media Connect now. And I've got software version 1270 on the Action Tech um, Screen Beam Pro here, which is uh, Microsoft been working with Action Tech on. In fact, there's a beta version of the firmware that's going to be available soon. I'm just running 1270, which is the latest uh, stable version. We're going to connect. Obviously, it's a uh, much, much better experience than uh, than before on Windows. I'm really pleased with that. In fact, I'm really pleased that the responsiveness, in fact, is now good enough to use as a remote desktop. Responsiveness on that mouse, and that was always the problem, it was very, very laggy. And that looks uh, almost instantaneous. Now, it depends on exactly how much uh, of a... How much of a... Um, screen change you've got going i'm just going to demonstrate this you'll see there is a lag in the screen right and if we run this app you'll see uh, i'm just going to take a picture of it with this this camera here and you'll see as i fade that uh, picture in let me just take the picture first click it should be about 150 milliseconds of, of of delay there so the more you have moving around on the screen and this is obviously because the compression algorithm it's mpeg2 that's used to transfer the uh, up to 1080p 60 frames a second across um, obviously the hardware uh does it adds a little bit of latency to do massive massive changes on on the screen but for small changes and uh it's uh seems to be fairly instantaneous on that screen it's it's small changes it's good big changes obviously a little bit laggy so for gaming it's not going to be very good but for video playback it's going to be absolutely perfect now just to remind you there i'm using that preview version it's the insider preview build 10074 got the action tech screen beam, beam pro there's a mini version of this available for 39 dollars now so that's worth looking into uh, especially if you're looking at windows 10 and wide eye as well the the, the enhanced mirror cast from from intel and what have we got if i could just disconnect that there we go we've got firmware 1270 on um the screen being pro so i wasn't able to find the beta version of the software that microsoft and action tech are working on but um that is a demonstration of things that are looking much better anyway screen beam pro windows 10 ms miracast thanks for watching